Okay, part two. So here, I want you to go ahead and do this one on your own. Follow what we did on the previous example. Uh, tell me everything you can about the function. So degree, leading coefficient, and behavior terms, possible extrema, possible number of real zeros, actual real zeros, and the y-intercept. You do not have to graph it this time. So go ahead, pause the video, do that, unpause when you're ready to check. Okay, so there are three terms here. Uh, x to the fifth, x cubed, and negative 6x. The degree is 5, that's the highest uh, exponent. The leading coefficient is 1, that's the number in front of the term with the highest exponent. Therefore, my end behavior is going to be down to the left and up to the right because the degree is odd and the leading coefficient is positive. Since the degree is 5, the possible number of extrema or turns is 4. The possible number of real zeros is 5. What are the actual real zeros? So to find that, we set this equal to 0. I factored out an x, and then x to the 4th plus x squared minus 6. That factors into x squared plus 3 times x squared minus 2. So that's a technique that we just used in our previous uh, section. Now I set each factor equal to 0. I get x equals 0. That's a real 0. Here I get x equals plus or minus i root 3. So these are zeros but they're not real zeros. Uh, and then here I get x equals plus or minus root 2. So my actual real zeros are x equals 0 and plus or minus root 2. So there was five possible real zeros, but I only ended up with three actual real zeros. Uh, and then my y-intercept was 0, 0 again, and I found that through the x-intercept, or real 0 of x equals 0. Okay, next one. Same thing. Tell me everything you can. Pause the video. Do this on your own. Or with a buddy if you're taking notes together, but that might not be the best strategy. Uh, and then unpause when you're ready to check your work. All right. Okay, so here we can see we have three terms separated by addition. The degree is 4. That's the largest exponent. The leading coefficient is 5. Term in front of the or coefficient in front of the term with the highest exponent. Therefore, my end behavior is up left, up right, because the degree is even, and the leading coefficient is positive. Since the degree is 4, the possible number of extrema is 3. Since the degree is 4, the possible number of real zeros is 4. The actual real zeros in this case comes out to be none. We can see that here. I set the function equal to 0. I divided everything by 5 to simplify. Then I factored into x squared plus 2 times x squared plus 1, set each factor equal to 0, and I get x equals plus or minus i root 2, and x equals plus or minus i. So I ended up with four actual zeros, but none of them are real. So real zeros is none. y-intercept is the point 0, 10. I get that by plugging in 0 for x, and I'm left with just 10. Okay, so we want to make sure we understand end behavior. What are we talking about with end behavior as the graph goes to the extreme left and right? Is it going up or down? Uh, possible number of turns. Turns are also called extrema or relative min or max. Possible number of real zeros. And then how to actually find zeros and real zeros. All right, that was part two.